So, uh, but let me leave this here and talk a little bit about equipotentials. Um, so, this relates to the, um, the graphical tools that we are introducing to talk about electric field and, uh, and, um, and voltages. Because you know, these are somewhat abstract quantities. That, that's why I keep highlighting you know, this is how it relates to the force. So that in a case by case, case um, whenever you feel like you're lost, to talk about electric fields, you can always connect it to the force. And that's why I start out with this here. So that if you feel like you're lost, hearing about voltages and whatnot, you, uh, you have this as a reminder to you that it always relates to the potential energy due to electric forces. Um, so, you know, this is there as a reminder, but that's more of a, like, life, that's more of a last resort um, tool than anything. Um, when you are considering a new situation, um, it helps to have a graphical tool, and that's what equipotentials, um, that's what field lines and equipotential that I will introduce are. So, uh, let me, um, so I, you know, once again, yeah. as Kevin mentioned last time, we spent a very little amount of time with the equipotential and ended there. Let's uh, just uh, spend a little bit of time to try to build up our intuition using that graphical tool. Um, so, um, so this is the simulation that I was using last time. And uh, I'm finishing up your uh, lab exercises you are going through today. And, um, but there's one part where I'm encouraging you to use this also. So hopefully after lab today, you'll feel more comfortable with all of this. So you know, imagine a charge is out there. So this is the vector field of the, you know, this is the electric field vector field representation. Um, as I keep mentioning it, this is kind of hard to, to draw by hand. I'm never going to ask you to draw it by hand. But what I am going to do is use this picture to draw the electric field lines. Okay? Let, me, um, let me draw electric field lines with eight uh, field lines for this single charge. You've seen it some, a few times, so you know what it looks like. So, um, so that's all illustrated here. So now, using this same setup, um, let me illustrate equipotentials. So, so um, you guys saw this feature last time, but only for a couple minutes. Let me spend a few more minutes this time so that you have some chance to be, start to become familiar. Uh, so, um, so this tool is actually, um, I mean, it takes a little bit of work, but you can actually use this simulation to illustrate equipotential using this uh, equipotential drawing tool. You just have to do it by hand. So uh, let me do it in more closely spaced than last time. So what I'm going to do is, let me start out at 20, and I'll use a spacing of two volts. So I'll just do it quickly. So 18, uh, 16, 14. And as I draw this, um, here are two questions I want you to think about. One, what do you think these circles represent? That's the first question. Two, if you wanted to use equipotentials to figure out electric field strength, how would you do it? So it's going to take me a while to finish drawing it. But as I finish it, you know, those are the two questions I want you to think about. Uh, what do these uh, circles that's being apparently drawn represent? And um, if you want you to get electric field strength from these lines, how would you get it? All right, um, can I get to two? Maybe. All right, and I, I know I cannot get to zero, so I won't try. And, um, and you know, there are supposed to be more concentric circles inside here, but for now, I'm gonna say um, the, our limited scale does not allow you to say that. So this is sort of the um, unknown black sphere. 
All right. So those two questions I was asking, what do these concentric circles represent? What's the one property um, uh, tying them together? Why circle? Why not ellipse or square or square or something else? I mean, what does the word equipotential sound like? It's not a trick question. Same, same potential or same field? Same potential, right? We, otherwise, we would say equifield line. <laughs> um, so that's it, it's exactly what it sounds like. The set of points that are drawn are the set of points with the same value of electric potential or voltage. 